here we have uh, the tone poem series of canvases uh, that we'll be showing at the gallery, the strong component of the exhibition. Uh, they mark a continuation of my exploration of kinetic artwork and movement, however, in a more static kind of composition. My uh, approach to it is largely intuitive and much like um, playing piano or doing something you can learn theory and practice of a musical instrument and then play without thinking. The tone poem works are an attempt to flatten out and work dimensionally and work with push and pull of color in the traditional modernist sense, perhaps. Um, but inside my own language and address um, a, um, equality and difference inside the same composition and um, the variances that and possibilities therein. It's taken me a my whole life to flatten out the picture plane and become as simple as these paintings. So I find that liberating to uh, discover that, um, you know, through, through uh, a, a certain set of rules, perhaps, that um, you can unlock this huge potential and never repeat yourself and, and, and work. Um, work there's a there's a certain type of freedom to it so it seems to contradict itself yeah people say to me the tone poem works are musical and i think music is very very important to me in some ways uh, a lot more emotive than visual art and um it seems to be seeping into my work in a way uh, that um I didn't really see coming, so uh, I'm very happy for that. Actually, to be reflecting on you know other art forms that have that are important to me. You know, I see the tone poems as a a place of rest, and you know, there's a. I think that I sometimes am achieving moments in the studio that I can't have anywhere else. Um, so a, a place of rest, of contemplation and focus um, in an elemental way, you know, a, a meditation and color is beautiful and optimistic.